to all my students i am dr jima bindu from the department of mechanical engineering and i will be dealing the subject robotics and our today's topic is problem solving from the module 4 that is based on the trajectory planning so coming to the first question let me first read out the question a single cubic trajectory given by q of t is equal to 30 plus t square minus 60 cube is used for a period of 3 seconds determine the start and the goal position to identify the velocity and acceleration of the end effect r this is the exact given question so we need to find out the velocity and acceleration at the end effect r right so what is the given uh, cubic trajectory it is nothing but q of t is equal to 30 plus t square minus 60 square right uh, we need to determine the start and the goal position and the velocity and acceleration at the end effect r over a period of 3 seconds so initially at the starting position we all know t will be equal to 0 right initially at the starting position we all know that t will be equal to 0 now for that particular t is equal to 0 we need to substitute the t value in q it is q of 0 is equal to 30 plus t square is nothing but 0 Minus six into zero whole power q. So what will we getting? Thirty plus zero plus zero, where thirty q of zero is equal to thirty. That is at the starting position, the q value is equal to thirty. Whereas at the uh, goal position, when we have t is equal to zero, when we consider t at that is at the goal position, we have the value of t as three. So at the goal position, when we consider t is equal to zero, we need to find out the q value at the goal position. That is, q of t is equal to thirty. Thirty plus what is this? T square, right? So that is nothing but three threes are three into three. Three threes are nine minus six of three into three into three. Right. So what is this? Thirty plus six. Uh, sorry, nine minus six into twenty-seven. So what we are getting? Thirty plus nine minus one sixty-two. So the value is minus one twenty-three. Q of three at the final position. We have got the goal position value of Q as minus one twenty three. Now we need to find out the velocity. How will we determine velocity? It is nothing but Q dot of t, right? The velocity will be determined as Q dot of t. And the equation for find out this is d by dt, right? D by dt into thirty plus T square minus sixty cube. So here, what we are getting? D by dt of thirty uh, plus T square minus sixty of t. It is nothing but two T minus eighteen T square. So when we are considering T as zero, then Q of zero is equal to two of zero minus eighteen into zero. That is Q naught. That is velocity at the initial position. Again, here it is zero. At the initial position, the velocity is also zero. And at the goal position, when we are considering t, then Q dot of three is equal to minus one six six, which we have got as two into three minus eighteen into three. Is, uh, into two is equal to minus one fifty six. We have got it is the goal velocity is minus one fifty six. We next we need to find out acceleration. Acceleration is found by q dot dot of t. Again here we are considering t as zero and this has been given as d by dt of two t minus eighteen t square. So what we are getting two minus thirty six t. So two minus thirty six into What is t value zero? So we are getting q that is acceleration at zero is nothing but two. 
right? Acceleration at zero is nothing but two. Whereas when we consider acceleration at the end of position, t value will be taken as three. We are getting acceleration at the end position is equal to minus one zero six, right? So at the start, the uh, value of position, the position at start point is the uh, is thirty. And at goal point, it is minus one twenty three, and the velocity at the start point is zero, and at the goal point it is minus one fifty six. At the acceleration at the start point is two, and at the end point is minus one zero six. So this is how we calculate. So this is how we calculate the goal position, velocity, and acceleration at the end of position with respect to Q of t, where t is being considered as uh, 3 seconds. Initial position it is 0, and final pos goal position we are taking t as 3. t is equal to 0 at initial position, t is equal to 3 at the goal position. So this is how we find out the position, uh, velocity, and acceleration of the end effector. Right? Next, next. Uh, moving on to the next problem. Uh, one of the joints of the arculated robot has to travel from initial angle of two hundred to final angle of eight forty in four seconds. Right. Using the third degree polynomial calculation, calculate the joint angle at one, two, and three seconds. That is, we need to calculate the joint angles at one, two, and Three seconds for a three D polynomial, right? So, what is the uh, cubic equation for angular displacement? T of t is equal to a naught plus a one t plus a two t square plus a two t cube, right? The uh, the cubic equation for the angular displacement is theta of t is equal to a naught plus a one t plus a two t square plus a two t cube, where the joint angle at time t is we are considering the coef the theta t of is the joint angle at time t and a one a two a three are the coefficients which we need to determine, right? So here given what is the given in, uh, initial angle? It is 200 degrees and 840 degrees. Initial angle is 200 degrees and final angle is 840 degrees. What is Tf? It is nothing but 4 seconds. So at the initial uh, velocity, when we need to find out the initial velocity, theta dot of 0 is equal to 0 angle. But second, assuming that the motion starts from the rest. Now, when we consider assuming the motion coming to stop at Tf is equal to 4 seconds, then we will be writing theta of t is equal to a naught, which is nothing but 200 degrees. Theta of 4 is equal to a naught plus a14 plus a216 plus a3 into 64, which is nothing but 840 degrees, which you already know. Theta uh, dot of 0 is equal to a1 which is equal to 0 or theta dot of 4 is equal to a1 plus 2a2 into 4 plus 3a3 into 6 is equal to 0. These are the conditions which will be given for the following equations. Now we need to find out a2 and a3. So how will we find out a2 and a3 with the help of the angle square t is equal to 1 t is equal to 2 and t is equal to 3 seconds, right? This we already have. t is equal to 1 second, 2 seconds and 3 seconds. Now, a naught is equal to 200 degrees, a1 is equal to 0 and a2 is equal to 120 and a3 is equal to minus. That is the coefficient for the cubic equation are 200, 0, 120 and minus 20. Now, what is the uh, equation which we have? The joint angle equation. Theta of t is equal to 200 plus 120 t square minus 20 t cube. That is at t1, t2, t seconds. What are we getting? Theta 300 degrees, 520 degrees and 740 degrees. Substituting these values here, we will be getting theta1 as 300 degrees, 520 degrees and 740 degrees. Clear? theta1 is equal to 
300 degrees, theta 2 is equal to 520 degrees and theta 3 is equal to 740 degrees. Right? When we are substituting it in this particular equation, we have got these angles. That is, we have determined the 1, 2 and at 1, 2 and 3, we have calculated the joint angles. Right? With the help of the 3D degree polynomial equation. Moving on to the third problem. Find the expression for the joint motion parameters by using cubic polynomial fit in the joint space scheme, which is by following data. That is, theta of 0 is equal to 20, theta of S, uh, f is equal to 70 at a time of 3 seconds. Right? So, theta of t is equal to a naught. Theta t is equal to a naught plus a1 t plus a2 t square plus a t 3 cube. This is the equation. Right? So, this is the equation of the joint parameter where theta of t is equal to a naught plus a1 plus a2 t square plus a3 t cube. Now we know theta here. In this we know theta of 0 is equal to 20. Theta of 0 is equal to 20. Theta of 3 is equal to 70. Theta dot of 0 is equal to 0 and theta dot of 3 is equal to 0. That is assuming it at the stop of the final position. So these are the given conditions. Now based on these particular given conditions we need to find out the theta. That is at t is equal to 0, theta of 0 is equal to a naught which is equal to 20, right? Or t of 3, a t uh, of uh, 3 is equal to a naught plus a1 of 3 plus a2 of 9 plus a3 of 27 which we get it as is equal to 70, right? So, the derivation of the polynomial gives the angular velocity such as this equation angular velocity is theta dot of t right so with respect to the angular velocity theta dot of t is equal to a1 plus 2a2 t plus 3a3 t cube where at t is equal to 0 theta dot of t 0 is equal to a1 of 0 a uh, t is e at t is equal to 3 theta dot of 3 is equal to a1 plus 3 to the this is 3 Right, so 3 2s are 6, 6 into a square plus 3 3s are t square, right, 3 3s are 9, 9 into t square, right, so it is 27 a cube. So we need to find out a2 and a3, we need to uh, solve for the coefficients of a2 and a3. So using the above, uh, using this particular above equation, we will be finding out a2 and a3. Right, so theta of t is equal to 20 plus 0 into t plus 16 into 67 into t square minus 3 into 17 into t cube with where uh, t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 3 seconds. Right, so this expression describes the theta of t as a function of time. Theta of t is nothing but the function of time at interval of 0 to t. Right, theta of t is equal to function of t at an interval of 0 to 3. Right, so these are the differences which we have gone through. So in today's problem, we have solved three, uh, equa three problems based on the trajectory planning where we are finding out the coefficients a1, a2, a3 or we were finding out the position, velocity and acceleration. Right, for the very, uh, uh, when we are considering the various constraints for the cubic polynomial topic. Right, so this is all for today. Signing off for today, Dr. G. Marudi. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.